Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy 4th of July to all of you. Never forget how we won our independence. Kind of an odd day for me. Uh, this is an anniversary of my father's passing. He passed on the 4th of July many years ago. Um, so as we celebrate Independence Day, I also mourn for his loss. We're down here in the Gulf, and we're gonna see what kind of fish we can get today. It's about 95 degrees out right now. Let's make it happen. Some fish coming in here. Never got to see them. I don't know what they are. We're gonna throw this Brickley Gulp shrimp in here and these mangroves. Oh! Scared something. Looks like low tide. I'm guessing it's low tide. I don't want to spook them any more than I did. I don't know what they were. I'm just kind of just kind of playing around this area a little bit here. A lot of mangroves. That was a bump. I am not seeing a lot of shellfish beds. Uh, it was easy to walk in here with the kayak. No issues with that. Diane is uh, a little bit up a ways from me. She's kind of thrown in the deeper water. And that might not be the uh, bad idea, folks. Let me tell you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, shoot. Gotta... Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, I got excited. I saw some... Uh, movement over there and uh, decided to throw that way but I got in the mangroves there we go let's cut across let's cut across could be just bait fish for all I know just threw it into a little bit deeper water here there's Diane over there so it looks like she's got one of those ducks following her <laughs> I usually get all the ducks we're each using 15, 20 pound power pro uh, power braid, whatever you want to call it. Green braided line. And we've got 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. It's the Gulf of Mexico. So I'm not taking any chances. If I hook into a big snook or a tarpon or a shark. I want to be able to have some kind of fight last. Not get broken off real quick. Oh, look at the area. American flag, beautiful. Yeah, we're going to cover this area, folks, and we're probably going to move out even further. Because that's 4th of July. Uh, so, power boats are out. We're going to be careful of that. We're going to stay in the shallower areas where they can't get to. So I switched to a Yuzuri Minnow. Kind of walking the dog a little bit. Same thing. 20 pound on the parade, 30 on the fluorocarbon. Now I saw something break out there, kind of in front of me. Larger fish, out a little ways. Now, it was either dolphin or a tarpon, one or the other. Diane did not bring her saltwater fly rod, which is a shame because she'd probably have a chance, better chance than I will, of hooking into a fish. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, that fish that I did see has stayed down for quite a while. My guess? Tarpon. Dolphin would have come back up already. Taking a breath of fresh air. 
So I'm guessing tarpon. We're going to keep our eye out. Got a bucktail and, and maybe something I could throw to him. Um, yeah. I don't have high hopes of uh, hooking into one. But my guess is that was probably a tarpon. It has not come back up for any kind of air. All right, folks, we had a hit. Using the Berkeley Gulp Shrimp. So we got back here. Oh, that was a solid hit, too. And we're going to check the bait. Bait's still good. Whatever it is, trying to drag in the weeds. So go ahead. We'll up this bait just a little bit here. Get it around that head. There we go. Clean it off. We'll get it back out there. And we'll see. Well, I took a couple turns of the reel on. Oh, just more weeds. All right, we have some bait busting over there. Let's see what we can do. See if what's chasing it, maybe. All right, folks, we're going with a frozen shrimp. Artificials aren't working. We're going to see what they want. Hopefully we can get it right and get into them. That's saltwater fishing for you. Small little tug. Oh, that's a bigger one. Let's see if I got picked apart. Yep, sure did. I got picked apart. My bait got stolen. Stole that like no tomorrow. So they're a little bit deeper. They're in the grass for sure. Get back on them.
Yeah, that must have been a tarpon. Son of a gun, man. That's like twice I've seen tarpon in this area. Over here and over there. This is crazy. Love to catch a tarpon. So I think the bigger species are going to be in the mangroves, like the mangrove snappers, the snook. I don't think they're going to be in here. I think they're going to be in the mangroves. But Oh, yeah. He's hooked. Oh, he is hooked. Damn. He had another one with him, too. Yeah, now I gotta find all my stuff. Get him free. Fucking catfish. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, buddy, you're going back, you're going back, you're going back. I don't want you. No, I don't want you. You're going back. You're going to go back. All right. Just give me a second. All right, there you go. Adios. Damn. It's not what I was hoping for, though. Usually they go after the squid. The one behind them was bigger. <laughs> My bait got stolen. All right. I'm not in the habit of giving out free baits there, people. So.
Well, everybody, obviously, that's not what we we're looking for. Hold on, I got a fish on. Well, he got off, apparently. <laughs> the catfish is not what we're looking for. We're looking for some bigger fish. And uh, I threw the Berkeley gulp shrimp back out because I'm not in the habit of giving away frozen bait. Hold on. Yeah, we're getting some tugs. We're getting some tugs. Let's see. I can only hope it. Oh, okay, here we go. Well, everybody, obviously, that's not what we we're looking for. Hold on. We got a fish on. Well, he got off, apparently. <laughs> the catfish is not what we're looking for. We're looking for some bigger fish. And uh, I threw the Berkeley gulp shrimp back out because I'm not in the habit of giving away frozen bait. Hold on. Yeah, we're getting some tugs. We're getting some tugs. Let's see. I can only hope that... Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what this one is. Let's see what we got. We got a fish on. Yep. And he's pulling and pulling. And guess what we got, folks? It looks like maybe a trout. We're going to see. We're going to get him in. Let's get him in. Let's see. Nah, it's another catfish, folks. Look at this. Another catfish. What is up with these cats? Enough of this. So Diane and I moved to the opposite side of uh, the little area that we launched at and we were fishing at. And she's throwing in the mangroves and she had one on, but it, then it spit the bait. I'm pretty sure I saw either a mangrove snapper or a snook in there. And I'm throwing at something here that, that keeps breaking, but it's not uh, its not jumping like a mullet. It's, it's, it's breaking like a good fish. We're going to see they're finicky. It's hot out. Uh, I don't have fluorocarbon on anymore. The catfish ripped that apart. So I'm just doing uh, Berkeley Gulp. Uh, straight jig basically here. Uh, using the uh, braided line. I'm going to have to go to some cup bait and entice these guys to, to come up and play. I do have a bucktail jig. I might go with that. If the bucktail does anything, I haven't seen any barracuda, so I'm not doing the cuda tube. Sticking to the basics. Something almost had this one, folks. So we're, we are trying again. I don't know, folks. He gave up. Skyway Bridge, everybody. We're looking at the Skyway Bridge. Made it on the other side. Trying to do a stand up in the kayak. Do some casting here. If I get elevated, I can present the bait a little bit better.
think that is the longest I've stood up in a kayak at all. That is the longest. And if, and if all of you know, I use a brace, my foot, but not when I'm out here in a kayak. It's me in the water shoes, you know what I mean? So I'm standing up on my own, not using the brace for support. All in all, that was pretty good. It wasn't too bad. See if I can get it done by the end of the day as well. Let's get on the more fish. Come and get it, come and get it. Folks, I just chucked this bait out again. I was going to give Diane some frozen shrimp, and I got whacked really hard here. There, there's a fish out here that, that wants to play. Wasn't a catfish. It, it was a really hard double tap. See? Little, little taps. Oh, he could have destroyed the bait. Oh. Darn it all. I, I wish I I wish I had kind of uh been paying more attention to it. I was gonna get Diane some bait out of the cooler and this thing freaking whacked it like no tomorrow. Let's see what's left. Go! Oh, well that that's a good one. Let's get after that. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for today. That's a wrap. Just those couple of catfish. Cut a couple of bites out here a little bit further. But that's it. I mean, it's really dropped off. Current's not even moving. It's slack tied. So fishing is going to be next to zero. They're not even jumping out here anymore. So without any further ado, we're going to call it. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Each and every one of you. 180 subscribers. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. It's good to be back here in Florida making content for you guys. We'll be going back up north and we'll be making more there as well. But 180 subscribers. That's fantastic. Thank all of you. Truly appreciate all of you. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Happy 4th of July and take care, everybody.